Now we've got a great competition going on at all spots. Now Tough, we we're so excited about the way Tough uh, finished the year. Uh, and he had a real uh, unfortunate accident but, or, or injury. Uh, we really do believe we'll have him for next season. Uh, knowing Tough Borland, he'll be back sooner than most people will be back. But uh, the, the rest of them, we have a six, seven man competition going on. Uh, that really is a, is a testimony to the, the recruiting we've done around here and the guys that we have. Uh, and it, it's up for grabs. We have a lot of positions that are up for grabs, and they're fighting hard for them. How's Browning doing, Coach? Barron's really coming along. You know, b before Tough got hurt, we have him at Will a little bit, outside back. Okay. And then when Tough went out, we put him back in at Mike. So uh, him and Justin are battling hard at the Mike. And we have Trajan Mitchell coming in uh, in the fall, and he'll also get in the Mike uh, conversation. Hey, Bill, when Raekwon McMillan first got here, there was a sense around him, even as what he produced as a true freshman, that he was going to be somebody who has to be on the field from the beginning, and everybody knows what he yeah. turned into. Does Barron have that same type of hit factor that you could see immediately? With I, I think at times he does. It's at times, though, that uh, it's not all the time. And if, if Barron, if that light comes on, these are young men that as he's growing and you understand uh, the defense and you understand you get reps. They need reps. You know, he didn't get a, a lot of reps last year. And when you have reps, you gain confidence, you gain knowledge, you go faster, and all of a sudden this bravado comes out in you. And it's coming but it's not quite there yet. We all know what Justin's had to deal with in his career here with the injuries and things. Yep. What's yep. he done to get in the mix like this? Justin has had a great spring, and he really has taken a big step. Right now he's running with the one mics. Him and uh, Barron kind of switch off, but but Justin, again, with his understanding and his reps and all those injuries are behind him, he missed a lot of reps with those injuries, and I, I think people lose sight of that. But Justin, you know, you're right. Right now, he's had probably one of the better springs. And the outside say, linebacker spots, can you go through those? And just who's repping with the ones and the twos at the outside back? We're switching spots? Out, out and back. Now, yeah. Malik Harris is out there at the Sam and, and, and Dallas Gantz behind him, and then Pete and Baron, I mean, uh, uh, Keandre. Pete and Keandre yeah. are out at the wheel, and they're switching that up. And, and, and halfway through, we switch Keandre and, and Malik, and we switch Pete. So the outside backers are interchangeable. The mic is the mic. So that's kind of what we're doing, and they need to know both. There's so much carryover in both positions, uh, and those guys are, are scrapping out. I don't know who the starters are yet. Hey, that's you you know, described Barron as being able to play outside as well. Do you just have any more in college football do you have to be able to play any of those linebackers? I, I think in football in general. In all my years in the NFL, I was always asking the scouts to give me three down linebackers. I need a guy that can play on all three downs, and, and third down means you can run in the NFL. Yeah. Uh, and it's really what football is anymore. You've got to be able to run. And you've got to be able to you know, stop the run, but you have to be able to run and cover because it's all 11 personnel, it's all spread offenses, and it's in space. So you have to be an athlete. Hey, Bill, um, Justin Hilliard was a five-star prospect, and I'm not just saying that just because of his recruiting rankings, but that just means that he's probably an upper-level athlete yeah. coming out of high school. You mentioned that he missed a lot of reps sure because did. he's been injured, but yeah. when you're an upper-level athlete, can, that, can you overcome losing reps faster if you're healthy? You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I think you have a point there, but reps are golden no matter who you are. I don't care, even in the NFL, they're the best of the best athletes. And an NFL player that doesn't have reps is behind the NFL player that has reps. So it, it does matter that you're a better athlete. It absolutely matters, but reps are golden, and you got to have so them, and you got to grow. How far behind is he before you think he could actually be game oh, not, ready? Not far behind. I'm not saying he's behind right now. I'm saying he's caught up. He's caught up. Those injuries are why it took him a while. Is, is there anything with Justin that... Does he look just like a guy who's ready to go, or do, do those injuries take a toll on you at all? He's ready to go. The injuries is do not factor same, in right now. They he's don't the same factor. player. You got he, it. He's completely he's healthy. Back. He's is his confidence level there? Is it is, that, and that's the neat part about this spring. That's what came back.